Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the 29th term in this arithmetic sequence. Now, since this problem is an arithmetic sequence, so therefore, we need to find first the common difference. So the common difference is the difference between the two consecutive terms. So the difference between negative 3 and 2 or positive 2 and positive 7. Now, using this formula, a sub 2 minus a sub 1, or you can use a sub 3 minus the a sub 2. Then substitute now the values. So a sub 2, that's positive 2, minus a sub 1, that's negative 3. Now since this one double negative, and that becomes positive, so we have now 2 plus 3. So therefore, the common difference is 5. Then using this arithmetic sequence formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now this a sub n is the last term. So in this case, we need to assume that the last term is the 29th term. So therefore, a sub n is equal to a sub 29. Then a sub 1 is the first term. So on the given, the first term is negative 3. So a sub 1 is negative 3. Then n is the term of a sub n. Now, since our a sub n is a sub 29, so therefore, n is equal to 29. Then d, the common difference, and that's positive 5. Then substitute these values to this formula. So a sub n, that's 29. a sub 1, negative 3. Plus n, that's 29 minus 1 times 5, then this 29 minus 5, that's 28, and 28 times 5, that's 140, and negative 3 plus 140, so therefore, a sub 29 is 137, and this 137 is the 29 term in this arithmetic sequence.